I'm Andrea Felstead, Senior Retail Correspondent at the Financial Times and you're through to my shopping vlog. It's the Burberry Show. This is by far the biggest show um, every season. There's so many people here. Uh, the little photographer's setting up. So I got these. And I think Social media, so from video blogging to taking selfies, is changing the way retailers around the world do business. Now what are some of the big trends in retail at the moment? Perhaps my haul from Primark will help us find out. So here it is, this is what I've bought from Primark. Got some dresses for the beach, red trousers. And I've also got this yellow top. Now I'm really not sure that yellow is my colour. I'm really not sure it's going to suit me, but hey, it was five pounds. So, if it doesn't suit me, or I decide I don't like it, I can never have to wear it again. I can just throw it away. I could have bought this top from H&M or from Forever 21. This is all part of the throwaway fashion that we are seeing at the moment and social media is playing a part in this. Hi, I'm Jamie Merriman from Bernstein. So I do focus groups in the UK with women mainly, uh, and what the women say is that selfies and social media are really changing the way that they shop because frankly, you don't want to show up in the same outfit on Facebook or Instagram lots of times. And I think that's driving both how much people buy and also where they shop. When you're shopping that frequently, you need things that are less expensive. If I want to have a new designer handbag every month, it would cost me roughly the same as a VW Polo. But if I went to a site that rents designer handbags rather than sells them, I could have a new handbag every month and for a fraction of the cost. I could have this one. Or this one. Or even this one. Now hands up, who likes taking selfies? Well, I certainly do. And taking selfies affects the way we dress. And the way we dress affects how we shop. As we take selfies, we love to share them, particularly on Instagram and this can have implications for what we buy too. I'm wearing an ASOS jumpsuit. I've styled it with a vintage Moschino belt and I'm going to post this on Instagram with the hashtag as seen on me which is derived from ASOS's original name as seen on screen. Now somebody might see that on Instagram and they might decide to buy this very jumpsuit Hi, I'm Hannah. People do love posting selfies. Um, I think it's a little bit about your own brand and sort of managing that and actually particularly sort of millennials and our 20-something customer are really aware of that. There can be a bit of a virtuous circle hopefully for us. So if you buy something from ASOS and you love it and you style it in a way you love and you tag that picture with As Seen On Me and then someone else sees that picture and is inspired by that piece or a similar piece, then they might be inclined to share that when they've styled it as well. Now this might all seem like a lot of fun, taking selfies, posting them on Instagram, but for retailers it has serious implications. Hi, I'm Nick. The first part of e-commerce was all about choice, that's how in the internet enabled commerce. The second part of e-commerce was all about uh, convenience, so uh, getting that choice delivered 24-7 wherever you are in any way you want it to be and the third part of e-commerce is the big E, the emotional connection. Social media plays totally into the big E and building the brand and building the connection with the customer. 
in all investments in, in retail and business, it's always good to see a clear return on, in, on that investment. But actually, sometimes you need to take a belief and take a belief and invest because you think it's right for the brand and it's right for the customers. We've taken that approach with social media and we've taken that approach with content. Well, thank you for tuning in to my shopping vlog. I hope to see you all again soon. But before I go, I'm going to take a selfie.